Have you ever urinated and saw a bunch of bubbles floating in the water? Well, I don't mean to scare you, but you definitely need to get checked to see if you have chronic kidney disease. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the protein in your urine. This is something I started noticing even before end-stage renal disease. All right guys, so if you guys know anyone that can benefit from these types of videos, please go ahead and share it with them. And if you're new to my channel, What's up? Take a moment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And if you've done that, welcome to the family. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. So foaming urine can be caused by the presence of protein in the urine. Don't confuse when I say protein meaning all just animal meat. You can confuse protein in the urine with food intake um, versus protein in the urine due to chronic kidney disease. If you're starting to see a lot of foamy bubbles as you urinate, I really would suggest that you go to the doctor early. And I wish I did because I did not know about those signs beforehand. So when you go to the doctor, they're gonna draw some labs for you. So what I had to do was I did a 24 hour urine test. So I collected my urine for 24 hours, I put it in the refrigerator, and then I took it to the lab so it can be tested. Long behold, once I got those labs back, it let me know that I was producing high amounts of protein in my actual urine. Now there's protein in the urine and there's protein in the blood. So with my numbers being so high, when we also checked the creatine, that was actually elevated just as well. Your doctor's also going to check your GFR. And with that, we're supposed to be at 100%. Once you start seeing that decline, there are certain numbers that put you into certain categories. Um, my GFR was very low, so that obviously put me at the stage four when I was in the hospital, but it moved so fast. I ended up on stage five, which led me to dialysis. And this is something that I don't want anyone to experience, but a lot of us that are watching these videos are either on dialysis, waiting for a kidney transplant, um, but you can also save someone else's life by sharing these types of videos, because knowledge is power. So, I ended up on dialysis. Um, my GFR was low. We know that I was producing a lot of protein in the urine. So being on dialysis, there's protein in the urine, but then there's also protein in the blood. And when I was a dialysis patient, my doctor wanted me to take in more protein because of the dialysis treatment that I was taking. But if you're not on dialysis as of yet, I would suggest cutting back on your meat proteins just a little bit because the kidneys work much harder to extract the waste from the protein. And because the kidneys are not functioning as well as it was because you're already seeing the decline in the GFR, we want to save the kidneys as much as possible. So we don't want to put as much pressure on the kidneys. So try to cut back on your protein, eating wise, your protein just a little bit longer so you can preserve your kidneys as long as you can. Your lifestyle obviously plays an effect I know people that were very athletic and they ate a lot of protein because of their workouts and their lifestyle that they had. Well, I would always suggest to them to maybe, maybe cut back on the protein and maybe cut back on the workouts a little bit. Not saying that you don't have to work out, but you know if you train really hard that you gotta take in more. And it's just harder on the kidneys. So you wanna live, so I would suggest, you know, just cutting back a little bit. Obviously speaking to your doctor and having a plan. For those that are on dialysis, just like I was, your doctor's gonna want to know you're taking in enough protein because being on dialysis, you know that it's a requirement that you have your protein in the blood at a certain level. I was the type of patient that I did not like to eat meat. I really didn't. I used to be vegan. I went vegan for a whole year. And when I got really sick, the doctors asked me, you know, to please, I need more protein in you. So, you know, I started, you know, doing the egg and eating more meat. And it was very hard and difficult for me. So my protein in my urine may have been high because of the chronic kidney disease, but my protein in my blood was so low. So they wanted me to increase that. Now, I used to say, well, why would I increase it if it's gonna hurt my kidneys and 
but they have their requirements and I get it. But all throughout dialysis, that is the one thing that I struggled with. I didn't really struggle with anything else much. Obviously guys know I'm anemic, but it was really just controlling the protein levels in my blood because they wanted it to go up. So they wanted me to eat more meat so I can sustain being on dialysis. And because I wasn't, I think that's where I had a drastic drop in weight. Um, I got really skinny as you guys can see. I'm smaller now and that all came from that dialysis time in my life. If you are thinking about maybe going vegan or you know if you don't eat as much meat, sit down with your doctor or your dietitian and come up with a plan. Let them draw your labs and see where your levels are. You know where your GFR is, you know where your creatine is, you know where your protein in the urine and your protein in the blood. Figure out what all of that is and figure out what the best plan is. So if your protein in your blood is so low, they may tell you, you know what, no, we need you to increase. And if you're at a good level, they will let you know. So when I used to be at dialysis, every week they will draw labs and they will let me know where I was at and what I needed help with. So I always try to make sure that I followed the recommended amount. Um, like I said, I wasn't great when it came to the protein, um, but I did the best that I could to, and I survived it. So I just kind of wanted you guys to understand that, you know, if you see high levels of protein in your urine, that is common with chronic kidney disease. So if your levels are starting to go up and you're just doing your annual testing and you're not on dialysis, Seek medical attention because you want to try to prevent yourself from getting on dialysis because guys, when I tell you it's no fun, I really mean dialysis is no fun and I don't want to see anyone on dialysis. Um, if you are on dialysis, keep fighting. Try to get on a kidney transplant video. In my previous video, I showed you guys on ways to try to find a living kidney donor because we still have life in us. We're here for a purpose. I don't believe that this is going to be our downfall. So let's go ahead and be positive about the situation, educate ourselves, and take control when it comes to our medical plans. They are the doctors here to guide us, but at the end of the day, this is our bodies, and we know what's best. Sit with your doctors, figure out what the plan is for your life, and otherwise, I just wanna say thank you guys for taking this time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You guys, I appreciate all the love and support from this channel. Otherwise, I just wanna let you know I love and appreciate you. All right, guys, see you next video.